Welcome everyone to your weekly energy update where we're looking at the week of October 2nd through October 9th. This week we have a lot going on in the planets. October 2nd, we actually have Mercury leaving its full retrograde and going into its post shadow. So yay! Uh, it'll be in the post shadow all the way until October 18th when it goes direct. And it is a period of reviewing. Now last week's energy update, we did already talk about the Mercury retrograde and this post shadow period that's starting to come up so if you want to find out what you learned around communication during this last mercury retrograde check out last week's video because it is going to give you information that'll last through october 18th we also have october 8th this week Pluto is joining the post shadow parade and that is a planet of like grow or die it's the death the rebirth and it's the energy of transformation like the phoenix that's rising from the ashes that's the main energy we're going to look at for this week although we also have the next day on october 9th is going to be a full moon in aries but we'll cover more of that in next week's energy update since that will be from october 9th through the following sunday as well so because we're going to be looking at the pluto post shadow energy you know Pluto retrograde was a time to reflect on what ended, uh, what burnt down, and now we're starting to make our way up and out of those ashes. And so for this reading, we're going to ask, what does the spirit realm want us to know about our rebirth? What's this new creation that we've become? So of course, we have readings for each individual zodiac sign, and we're going to jump into yours right now. All right, Cancer Signs, this is your weekly energy update, and we're going to start off here by pulling a card from the Messenger Oracle. And any of the cards I use in a reading, I do list in the description box below. So if any of them catch your eye and you want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. All right, so let's take a look here and see what Creator and Spirit would like you to know. Actually, they do want this one right here. <laughs> Uh, so this is what they want you to know, though, about your rebirth and about just what creation that you have come out of this retrograde and that you're going to be reflecting on during the post shadow. And you have Embrace the Masculine. Powerful card there. And of course, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine within us, no matter how we uh, identify. So in this case, this is the powerful side, the manifest manifesting side, uh, that power. And it says within ourselves, there are two aspects to our nature, the masculine and the feminine here in the present you can em embrace the masculine aspect of your nature and let it guide your steps. Now is the time to be assertive, to act with authority and stand up for both yourself and your truths. Fight for what you believe in. Do not allow others to tell you that you must not or cannot. But remember, while you allow your masculine self to be dominant, you need to temper your assertiveness and determination with gentleness and compassion. Yeah, so standing up for your truths um, with love, right? It's not about being mean and telling people that they're wrong and their truths are not as true as yours and all that. It's about just in a very loving, strong way, just, you know, standing up for what you believe and not feeling like you have to take on everyone else. It doesn't mean you have to get into arguments or, you know, even discussions. It's just about just realizing that you get to choose what you want for your life. And a lot of it comes from this inner confidence there. We'll see what else they want you to know too with these earth magic oracle. Let's see what else they'd like you to know. So don't be a doormat, pretty much is what it's saying. You don't have to give in to everyone else. All right. So what else for our cancer signs, please? Which is very, now I'm thinking about it, is, is very fitting for cancer signs because you are ruled by the moon, which is Mother Luna. So you have a very strong nurturing side of you, which can have you become self-sacrificial and, you know, give in for, to everyone else, doing what they want out of your huge, huge heart. But this is like you standing up for you right now, which is great. 
And you have meadow with vulnerability. So let's take a look here. I love both of these green. There's so much same color as colorizations there. So let's see what comes in here with meadow. So the meadow in this card invites us in with its beauty and its openness. The flowers have arranged themselves in a poetic design orchestrated by nature, and the lush rolling fields urge us to relax and stay for a while. Yet for some, the idea of being in such an open space is terrifying. And in an expansive meadow like this, we may feel exposed and defenseless, lacking the perceived safety of an enclosed area. For others, walking through a meadow can be exquisitely satisfying experience. We can feel comfortable in the openness and the visibility, enjoying the 360 degree view with nothing but the sky above. Yes, we may still feel vulnerable, but with a twist. This is vulnerability built on the foundation of trust rather than fear, the capacity to trust our own instinct to tell us if there is any potential threats we must respond to. By relying on this instinctual knowing, we can relax and enjoy the beauty that surrounds us. And it goes on to say, you are in a place now where you can take risks with your feelings and even more important, take risks with the truth of who you are, the truth you know in your heart and soul. <laughs> so the truths coming forward here. You no longer need to be subjected to your conditioned fears of letting others know who you really are. Yes, others may judge, evaluate, criticize, and perhaps even put you down. These are very real possibilities. Yet, by trusting that you have the strength to deal with these reactions rather than responding adaptively and always playing it safe, you can uh, more confidently allow yourself to be vulnerable. Always holding back from expressing your truth can create an illusion of safety, but armed with your trust and your faith, you can choose to be vulnerable and to share your authentic self with the world. <laughs> so there we go. You, both of those cards are talking about that, showing your truths. Uh, this is about being vulnerable and sharing your truth, but also having the strength behind it that you don't feel scared to do that. So perfect cards for one another here. We'll also pull from the runic tarot and just see what else they'd like you to know around this. One more time. All right. So what else for our cancer signs, please? What else would you like them to know around this energy? Okay. I do want to that one, that one, this one. I do want this top one and this bottom one. All right. So we'll start with this one on this side and you've got the eight of cups. Yeah. So you are ready to leave behind the emotions that no longer serve you. The cups, of course, are emotions. The number eight is about movement up. You're ready for a next level. Actually, the nine of cups after this is a wish fulfillment card. So the eight of cups is you're ready to leave behind emotions that no longer served you. Those emotions of fear that kept you feeling small and hiding the truth of who you really are. You know, being afraid of that, all the stuff it talked about here, the rejection, the judgment, the blah, 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 blah. You have this confidence and the strength within you that really came out during this Pluto retrograde that's allowing you to move on, move forward, and leave those behind. They served their purpose for a time because you wanted to experience what it felt like to be small and restricted and, and fearful, but you've obviously had enough of that and you're ready to move to this new level. And then you have the world card. Yeah, speaking of, the world card is the ending of major cycles and the beginning of a new adventure. So exactly what we've been talking about here, you're ready 
to end that cycle of feeling small and and for not allowing yourself to shine and to continually sacrifice yourself for others. You're allowing yourself to share the beautiful, powerful you, which in the end, you know, the greatest gift you can give the world is a full, healthy, overflowing you. But if you're hiding yourself, you're not doing that. So you're bringing us the best gift you could anyway, not trying to fit in and be that person you think you're supposed to be, but being the true you for us. And I love that. And then you have the page of swords. Swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes. Pages are another, you know, in addition to the eights, pages are about movement up to a next level. And the swords, this will be new thoughts, new beliefs that you're bringing in here. And new ideas, new messages, new communication coming in as well. Because the Ace of Swords, this huge Ace of Swords that she has here in her hand, that allows you to connect to the capital T truths of the higher realm, which include the truths here that I was talking about of who you really are and allowing you to cut away those old thoughts and those old beliefs that no longer serve you as well. So you are making these, you know, emotions and stories and thoughts that you're leaving behind to share the true you and experience this whole new adventure in a different way. Yeah, because here you have the Ten of Wands. Ten is endings and new beginnings. Wands is your energy and your drive, your ambition, your inspiration. Uh, and the Ten of Wands is like the ending of like you've invested your energy in a lot of things and you uh, had it full of all this energy that you had invested in kind of like let's say this adventure you went on but now you're ready to end that let that go into the history books and now you're gonna embark on this new one where your energy is not going to be invested backward anymore but into the present moment and for where you're headed with expressing this true picture of who you really are and then you have the four of wands so Fours are a very stable number, and you have four of wands, which would be stabilized energy. So think of like a huge table with four huge legs. That's a very solid foundation. And it is a, a celebration type of card. It can mean union, it can mean celebration, marriage, you know, partying, but it is a very joyful energy that's coming in. And I love that because when you're looking at all this, you are being you, and I kind of feel like this is you embracing the true you. You know, this is both of these are you uh, and you're embracing who you really are and um, sharing that with the world. Very stabilized, joyful. You're celebrating who you are instead of fearing what other people will think you're just done with that. And then we're also going to pull here from the Art of Manifestation Oracle and see what their final message on here is for you. Okay, just a couple more times here. And one more. All right, so what else do you have for our cancer signs? What's your final message for this beautiful energy? Okay, they do want this one right here. Yeah, you have don't wobble. 13, one plus three is four, so another solid foundation. It says, are you having a wobble? which is like a, uh, I think it's like a, a British word for, you know, are you feeling uncertain? <laughs> Whether a minor one or a major one, this is completely understandable because you're facing tough choices, but deep inside yourself, you know what you need to do. This card is here to validate your deeper knowing and the decisions that you are making. As you move forward, your anxiety will ease and you will find your balance. Yeah, that stabilized energy coming in here. And I do really love this for you because, like I mentioned, cancer signs are, you know, you're a water element and you're full of emotion. You have huge hearts and you pick up on everyone's emotions and you kind of take on this nurturing role, whether you're male or 
or female or how you identify, you have this in there where you feel you have to sacrifice for everyone else all the time. But this beautiful transformation is you're realizing that you don't have to put your worth depend on what you can give others, but you instead um, of being like a barrel where everyone's plugged in and sucking the life force out of you, where you feel exhausted and then eventually resentful, you become a chalice where you get to fill up with unconditional love from above and then everyone else gets the overflow. So you feel whole and complete and not drained and exhausted and the um, uh, beautiful nectar that's flowing, overflowing out to people is so much more delicious than the bitter waters that they would get before. So, you know, you're going to see a change in how you give and that you allow yourself to give to yourself first. And I feel like this is what you've been um, going through is this beautiful balance between being that chalice, but also being very, uh, you know, having boundaries and putting yourself first and not feeling guilty about it. So I do love this message for you because you so deserve this transformation and this new way of looking at your life and and feeling the energy that's coming in. Now, if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, also clicking on the subscribe button, which gives you access to the notification bell. When you go in there, there's an option for all. And if you click on there, then you'll be notified of any videos that come out on this channel. Doing those things also helps spread the Zen love and it helps my channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, and uh, subscribe to my channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy it wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I am very, very grateful for that. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings, and in fact, my recorded personal readings have a sliding price scale. So that gives you the opportunity to choose between uh, three different price points for each individual type of uh, recording, uh, personal reading, and that offers that flexibility. So if you're interested in any of that, you can check it out in the description box of this video below. All right, Cancer Signs, as you go through this wonderful journey, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure we'll be talking very soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.